everybody. Welcome to another edition of Thursday's Thoughts. In this first series, the doggone truth. Um, this is like our fifth or sixth time trying to do this because um, the phone wasn't working right. It wouldn't record things and then it recorded how uh, it was just a mess. So he went from crazy the first two tries and third time. Yeah, the fourth time he was just actually like sleeping on my lap. So we're gonna try to get through this one, guys. Uh, bear with me. Um, I'm tired of hearing myself talk. I think he's tired of hearing me talk too. But he's you so. Oh, oh okay. We we learning, huh? We learning. Good boy. Look at you. Anyway, um, for those who don't know, the star of this uh, series, The Dog on Truth, is my little buddy Buck, who uh, last year, uh, last November. Uh, we were hunting in Kentucky, and he came out of the woods as, as a six-month-old. Uh, they were breeding him for, um, well, he was part of the litter. He was the only survivor out of the litter uh, from them trying to breed some of these blue chick bagels for uh, hunting. But um, I was able to take him home. Didn't think I was ready for another beagle after Dixie passed uh, Christmas Day 2017, but... Uh, God's smarter than me. God knew I needed him with the things I was going through, and he needed me. So it worked out for both of us, I think. But that's where the series The Dog on Truth comes from. God has been showing me things while trying to, uh, to train him and also train myself, I guess. Uh, God's been showing me different things, and I figured I would present them uh, on this uh a little series, and hopefully it would speak to somebody, and y'all would get something out of it. Um, we've had different uh, series. Last one was about, uh, you know, the love of a mother and how she protects us and all that stuff. And um, this one is Tough Love. Um, and in 2019, they may not like uh, the whole saying, you know, no pain, no gain type thing. I was trying to look up trying to think of something that would go with um, discomfort, but I couldn't think of anything that rhymed with that. So, um, but it's, it's about tough love, and it's still love, and uh, you do it right, and it's for your good. Uh, you know, sometimes I look at him and his cute little face, and I'm just like, man, uh, it's that parent saying, uh, you know, it hurts me more than it hurts you. I, I do not like uh, disciplining him, even though I have to at times. And, um, Sometimes I think, oh, maybe if I just messed up his face, and I was a joke. If I messed up, I wouldn't mess up his face. But it just looks at me so cute sometimes. I'm just like, oh, it gets away. We're probably a little too much still. Be good. Yeah, you're, you're on, everybody's watching you, dude. So relax. But um, Dixie, I had, when I had her, um, I'm sure she's looking down. Love you, baby. Miss you. Uh, had her for 13 years. Uh, she passed last uh, Christmas Day, 2017. But... She was in an apartment with me, and uh, she went through the chewing phase that he's going through now. And um, one time, she was going, always going after the electrical plugs out of the outlet. And uh, I tried to correct her many, many, many times. And by God's grace, she didn't uh, turn into a hot dog with uh, 110 volts running through her. Because sometimes I would come, I didn't have a cage for her. I would come home and those wires would be bitten completely through. Um, and some kind of way she, <laughs> she wasn't shocked. Uh, but um, it took a long time, maybe because she was a girl, I didn't make her as uncomfortable for uh, not listening. Uh, Bucks, you know, he gets away with a lot, but um, I don't wanna say I caused him pain because that would be wrong. Um, in our discussions, I make him aware that it could be very, um, very uncomfortable, uh, and a, a, a not a not enjoyable experience um, if he didn't listen to me at times. And that doing it all out of love because I don't feel like having his little furry self just afro it out and um, passing. So, um, reading, just looking at some different things, and you know, yes, he's a dog, he's not a child, I understand all that stuff. But uh, 
You know, uh, he, he's, he's my little boy. Um, Proverbs 23, 13 through 14. The reason why I think about it too is I'm going through some chastening right now myself. Uh, God is allowing things in my life to, in this chapter, make, you know, see that I need a change and be ready for the next chapter to where I'm a better person and I don't have to deal with as much pain and heartache and all that fun stuff anymore. But uh, in Proverbs 23, 13 through 14, and my handwriting is horrible, so I'll try to do my best. Um, do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish him, or if you punish them, they will not die. Punish them with a rod, so, oh, punish them, punish them with a rod to save them from death. Um, just like I said, a little pain, no gain. You know, when I was personal training and doing all that, I loved it. And I realized that it's called working out. It's not called funning out. Um, it's work. It, it, it's discomfort at times, but it helps your physical health and can help you have a better life uh, with, you know, even self-discipline isn't always fun. You can't eat and all the junk that you always want to eat. Sometimes you have to eat things that aren't necessarily always as tasteful as uh, the other stuff. But with self-discipline even, um, you know, it it makes you have a, a higher quality in life normally. I understand things happen, but, um, you know, so look out for your children. Um, but remember, we are God's children, those of us who have decided to um, believe in Christ and his salvation. We are adopted into uh, God's family. And uh, in Hebrews 12, 5 through 6, it says, And we and we have forgotten the exhortation in which speaketh to you um, as unto children. My son, despise not, ooh, despise not the chastening of God, nor faint when thou art rebuked by him or of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth. I can't read my writing. Uh, every son whom receiveth. Uh, then it goes on to seven. I'm sorry, I should read the shirt for the Bible. My handwriting and eyesight are horrible. Uh, it pretty much goes on to say what what son is not chastened or disciplined by his father? Because if the father loves their son, they're going to make sure they, uh, they train them. Because if you were to bite someone else, they may not be as nice as I am, Buck, and they can hurt you. So, yeah, don't bite me. Like, there you go. Give me a kiss. There you go, man. Um, and then also in Revelations... Uh, 3, 19, the, the end of the Bible, talking about when, when God's going to come back and he's going to be looking for his church, those who have, is, have, have accepted him and are trying to follow in his ways. Um, it says, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So, be earnest and repent. Uh, change your ways before it's too late, pretty much. Um, because... By choosing to follow Christ, we have a better life now, and we also, uh, if we really love him, we'll obey him and do our best, and he judges our hearts, and we will be forever in eternal bliss with our Heavenly Father. Um, but if not, if we choose to not listen to him and rebuke his, uh, his discipline, I love you, thank you, um, if we rebuke that, we are choosing uh, separation from him, and the only place that will be is in a, a separate place designed for the devil and his angels, the, the demons, the evil powers, which will be eternal damnation and hell. Um, so I just want to present this. I'm surprised he's being so good because the first couple times I tried to do this, he was biting my ear. So hopefully this records. Um,